this month, I feel like I kind of was like out of control. Hey guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. Happy April. Today's video, we are doing my April reset. I do these videos every month where I go over my goals for the month. I go over my budget, my favorite products, a little review of the month. This time we're doing a little clean as well, but I love these videos so much. You guys always seem to like them as well. So let's just jump into it. Let's review my goals for March. And if I'm going to be honest, I fell off. I've been falling off. I just simply didn't care in March. March was not a month where I cared about my goals. I completely forgot to fill in these. Honestly, half of these, I was like filling in, backtracking them, being like, did I? Did I do that? I don't remember. Let's just say I did it. I didn't really care about my goals in March. I'm going to say some standout goals that I really did do was walking 10K steps a day. I didn't do that every single day, obviously, but I feel like going on walks outside really became a part of my routine in March. I would always just be like, oh, I got home from work at this time. It's not too dark outside. Let's go for a walk when we can. Like I really was trying to prioritize going on walks outside when I can. And the days that I hit, did hit 10K, I hit like 15 or 20K. Like it wasn't just, oh, I hit 10K. I stopped. I kept going. And so even though I didn't hit them, you know, every single day, the days that I did hit it, I hit it. So that was a really big thing for me. Incline walk wasn't really like a goal of mine. It kind of was something that I wanted to see how often I did it. And I didn't do it once. And I also think that no eating out alone was a sleigh for me, honestly. I didn't really do that a ton. I didn't stretch at all, but honestly, I didn't expect to do that. And wearing sunscreen, I did a really great job of that. March, I'm just going to skip over it, honestly. Like, who cares? Not every single month needs to be a 75 heart type of month. You know, not every single month needs to be something where you're really focused on a goal. And like, I didn't just have one goal at a ton. If I were to say the one goal that I focused on the most, it would be going on walks outside, which I feel like I did do. One thing I did not do is list my clothes on Poshmark. I didn't do it. On to the next month. So let's look at April. I pretty much copy and pasted the same goals that I had last time. However, I kind of switched it up a little bit. I added workout here that could be Pilates, that could be weightlifting, that could be going on a walk. I wanted to see how often I did it. Some of these things are not necessarily goals, but they're just like tracking how often I do things and I want to do them every day or as much as I possibly can. I'm curious again with incline walking, will I will I be doing that? Who knows? Maybe this month I will start stretching. Who knows? Honestly going to just keep repeating my goals until I actually do them, but we'll see if this month I really follow through with it. I feel like I've kind of lacked a little bit of motivation recently with even and just wanting to achieve my goals, having the motivation to like checking it off. I kind of was more in the mindset of just enjoying my life in March rather than like constantly improving and bettering myself, which is totally fine. I think balance is important and I do think in March I did a decent amount. We'll see how well I do in April. I don't really have that high of expectations for myself in a good way. Not in like, a, oh, I don't think I can do this, but in like a, if I do it, great. If I don't, that's okay. I think this is the fastest we have ever gone through my goals because I just was about to say that I don't really care. And that's okay that I don't care. You don't always have to be proud yourself to be constantly improving that's just not healthy sometimes your best is good enough and this month that was my best and that's what I'm gonna tell myself and I believe it now let's take a look at my finances I'm gonna say this and this is really weird to say in the month of March I spent less money than I think I did in the past but I do feel more upset with myself this month about my spending I do think that it was because a lot of my spending in the other months had to do with like business expenses like taxes or things like that this month I feel like I kind of was like out of control. Over 50% was standard expenses, which I'm happy about, but I just, I don't, there's something about this month that I was like, I really fell off the wagon. Standard expenses, I always talk about this, my rent, my utilities, my phone bill, my car insurance, my health insurance, all of that type of stuff gets wrapped up into standard expenses. The next biggest category was business. I do have an editor who edits four videos a month for me. I also have a program that I use to edit my thumbnails, like auto renew for the year. And then I had a couple other business expenses. The second biggest expense was groceries. Now, here's something that I'm not happy about. Fun is 5% and fun is like just throwing my money away. Essentially, it's like Uber, just going out to bars. I think like the bar crawl that I bought, I put in the fun category. Fun is enjoying my life. And I do think that there is a balance of having fun and saving money. And I think that this, this month was a little, a little too fun. <laughs> Wait, is fun five? Oh, it's not color coded properly. That's why. Alcohol was almost like 3.5%. I did spend some money on clothes. I did, but I will admit I'm planning on returning some. I did buy some new makeup this month. I pretty much only buy new makeup about like once a year, maybe twice a year semi-annual makeup Sephora run. Unless I'm running out of something, I really only buy new makeup once or twice a year because I'm very fortunate and I get a good amount of makeup in PR. I don't know, for whatever reason. And when I look at this, I'm like, oh, I'm not that upset with this pie chart, but I do feel like I just, I went overboard this month and I didn't, that scared me. 
Did anyone else hear that noise? My heart like started beating. I was like, oh my God, I thought someone was like trying to break into my door. I just feel like I really could have scaled back a little bit on the excess spending of things that don't last that long. But again, it's also part of life. So I'm, tr I'm trying to be okay with it. But I do think in the month of April, I want to scale back a little bit of like going out and I want to be able to go out and have fun, but not always spend money when I'm doing it. I want to think of more things that I can do that are cost effective to have fun with my friends. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions of things that you can do that are free or very cheap with your friends because sometimes i feel like it's hard it's like everything costs money these days that is something that i really do want to prioritize in the month of april and we will see in my next reset how well i did I haven't included a little cleaning portion in this video in so long so I thought that we would go through especially in my kitchen and just kind of clean it up it's a little bit of a mess and going into the next month I always like to just have like a fresh clean space so let's do some cleaning my favorite products for the month and I have quite a random selection of products. First thing we have is a little blush. Like I was saying, I got some new makeup this month and this is the Patrick Ta blush in Just Enough. It's the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. Saw this all over TikTok and I was like, okay, we're doing it. It is this like baby kind of hot pink blush. Wearing it today, I did a little much because I am sunburned. Match the red chest to the face. Actually, you guys will see me in a second apply this, but this is a powder and a cream blush. I love this so much. Patrick Ta says he starts the powder and then he puts the cream on top of it. And so I started doing this. Every single time I wear this blush, people have been like, you look so pretty today. Like you look extra pretty today. Like something about it. You look so pretty today. So many people have been saying that. I love this blush. I will link all of these makeup and just everything that I can link for you guys down below. I will. I have two perfumes that are favorites for the month. So Black Opium by YSL, I think is turning into my new signature scent. I actually let someone smell this and they're like, oh, that smells like you. And I was like, oh. I was like, wait, you think it smells like me? Like I have a signature scent now. I talked about this in the past. You guys have seen this in my vlogs, but I had a little perfume sampler set. This is my favorite perfume out of the sampler set. So I redeemed like the full size credit and I got it. It smells so good. It's a very warm scent. And usually I don't like warm scents, but this has the longest lasting power of all time. I've never had a perfume that I put on in the morning and I can spray like this once, twice. And it's not too overwhelming, but it stays all day. Like it'll be nighttime and I'll still smell it. And there's no perfume out there that I've ever had that experience with. So I love this so, 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 so much. I also have another perfume. This is a cheaper option. This is by the brand and finery finery that you can get this at target this is not another cherry this smells just like cherries i'm actually wearing it today because i felt like it kind of like went with the outfit this is a perfume mist it's supposed to be similar to the tom ford cherry perfume <laughs> i kind of inhaled some of it <laughs> It doesn't taste good, so don't eat it. But this is a much lighter scent. This is not a perfume that will stay all day because it is a mist, but it is a much more affordable option than a YSL perfume. And you can get it at Target. And I think it's like very perfect for summer, like a very cherry fruity scent. It just smells like straight up cherries. Like it smells like you could eat it. But like I said, it does not taste good. This is a very random thing, but these socks that I got this month, I got these off of Amazon and essentially they're socks that just have a little bit of extra padding in the back of the heel. And they also kind of have like a little lip up here. I have have some shoes that have kind of been through some like wear and tear especially towards the heel and have been getting really bad blisters and I didn't want to have to buy new shoes so I ended up getting these socks and I love them I think these are the perfect socks ever I can wear my shoes that are a little bit more roughed up and I don't even notice it because the socks are so thick they're breathable they're like the perfect length I love these socks so much very random also I am very specific about socks because I hate when there is that little like seam or crease that like touches my pinky toe the wrong way <laughs> I used to like scream about it as a kid like I was like irrationally angry about the crease of my socks touching my toes in the wrong way and like that hasn't gone away I have found a way to manage my emotions in a more regulated way than when I was a kid but it still gives me a bodily reaction when I when I feel the crease of a sock touching my toe the wrong way and this these don't have that strong crease which I really love about them I just kind of spit everywhere that was great <laughs> okay so i have some food favorites i'm a little afraid to show this one because i don't want it to be like uh, a thing i recently have been using pb fit powder i got this at costco you can get this on amazon as well and i've been using this as an alternative for peanut butter i don't want to demonize calories or anything like that but it is less calories than regular peanut butter 80 percent less fat about a third of the calories of traditional peanut butter there's seven grams of plant-based protein i'll use this mix it with some water turn it into peanut butter use some oats and then some chocolate chips to make 
a little dessert. I've also been putting this in my Ninja Creamy and making like peanut butter protein ice cream with like a little bit of Fairy Life milk, vanilla protein powder, a little bit of vanilla gelatin, which kind of makes it that ice cream consistency and then a spoonful of this. I just have been loving this. I feel like I don't know why this didn't exist for so long. It didn't exist in my world. I really like it. I think it tastes just like peanut butter and I've been trying to incorporate more protein and more vegetables into just like the things that I eat on a daily basis. So seven grams of protein is just like a nice way of sneaking it in. Speaking of protein, in my next weekly vlog, you guys are about to see me discover these chicken nuggets. Fucking obsessed with this shit. These are so good. This is the Just Bare Lightly Breaded Chicken Breast Bite. I actually prefer the tenders to these, but they were sold out of the tenders. I have five bags of these now. Five of like the different variations of the type of chickens they have. 16 grams of protein per serving. Oh my gosh, that is so much. I pop it in the air fryer because I normally eat about two servings. These things are so good. You can eat them on your own. You can put them in a wrap. You can salad. You can, you can do so many things with them and I love them. And I sent a photo of this to every single person that I know and everyone's like, Keegan, we've known about these. They're so good. Are you just now figuring out? Yeah, I guess I'm just now figuring out, but these are so good and I have five bags of them. Five. Another thing that I very much so hyper fixated on was these built bars. Oh, they're so good. I have right here the brownie batter ones, but then I have also like the cookie dough ones. I got a 12 pack of the cookie dough. They're gone. Got a 12 pack of the brownie. They're almost gone. I have four left. I need to buy more. The, the brownie has 17 grams of protein, 140 calories, six grams of sugar. These things are so good. What I actually love to do, I saw somebody do this and I was like, I want to try that. So I did. And I put these chocolate ones in the microwave for about 10 seconds, no longer than 10 seconds. Don't do it longer than 10 seconds because I'm afraid they'll explode. They turn into like this like gooey chocolatey brownie and so good. So, so, so good. It literally tastes like I'm eating a chocolate fudge brownie. It's delicious. It is the perfect dessert. It's the perfect size. It like satisfies that craving, but like you're not overdoing it and you're not underdoing it. Like you don't leave and you're like, I want more because it's chocolatey enough, but then it's not like too much. These things are so good in the microwave. Microwave. Like I'm going to get more of these just to eat them as dessert every single night And I also feel like when I eat these as a snack They fill me up so much that I don't feel hungry like 10 seconds later Because I think that's something that I struggle with is like I'll eat a snack and I'm like, okay But I'm not full yet and with these I don't feel that way I also am such a hater of protein bars. Honestly, I've never really liked protein bars because I hate the texture of them These are the puff ones and they're kind of like a gooey texture on the inside They're not like that kind of like chalky weird hard but not hard but like kind of weird to eat taste of a protein bar so these are so good and i get them on amazon i get them from the verified built bar seller so i know that they're real i'm obsessed with these out of everything i don't know which one my favorite would be either the built bars or the blush i'm kind of thinking the built bar you guys have to try they're a little pricey i wish they were cheaper but honestly worth it i've never had a protein bar that i've liked as much ever and those are all my favorites for the month I thought I'd share my highs and lows and everything that I'm looking forward to next month with you guys as I'm getting ready. I'm slightly afraid that this is going to be a little confusing because I'm getting ready to film this video and this clip of me getting ready to film the video is at the end of the video. So chronologically, it's not chronological. I thought it'd be more exciting watching me do something than just sitting here talking. So in these videos, I like to go over everything that kind of went on in the month for me. Things that were really great moments, things that were not so great moments, and the things that I'm looking forward to in the month ahead. So let's take a little moment to reflect on March. So I have always loved the month of March because I was born in March. My birthday is March 7th, 2000 to be exact. I realized I wasn't fully zoomed out. The first high that we are going to talk about is my 24th birthday. I have been excited to turn 24 for the longest time. I think like two months into 23, I was like, okay, let's turn 24. Also, I am a little sunburnt, so this is not going to be like the perfect shade match because I would have to shade match red. <laughs> do you guys want to see my secret trick? <laughs> That's my party trick. If you ever want to do it, two finger like this. This is what it looks like. I have been excited to turn 24 for so long. So this month I finally turned 24. I've talked about this a little bit, but I feel like there is so much more maturity in the sound of being 24 versus 23. Nothing wrong with being 23. I was 23 for a full year. Turning 24 just gives you a little bit more credibility into adulthood than 23. I feel like in 23, you kind of still have like one foot in kind of college, that post-grad life. But when you turn 24, I feel like it's like, okay, I really have established myself as a young adult, not a full adult, but we're getting there, you know? I'm kind of terrified that my camera battery is going to die. Give me a second. Whoa, 
Still, just the sound of turning 24 is a high for me. The idea of it. <laughs> I'm gonna blend this down my neck. I did a couple of really fun things in the month of March. For example, I went to a spring training game. I believe they have them in Arizona and in Florida. I only went to one, but it was such a great day. We got some hot dogs, and I love a hot dog. Another really fun thing that we did was we went to a little bar crawl for St. Patrick's Day. I will admit that wasn't like the most fun thing I've ever done my entire life. Like the bar crawl wasn't that great of a time. I did it. It was my very first time ever doing a bar crawl. I've never done one before and I don't know if I'd do it again, but it was cool to say that I did it and I didn't have FOMO because of it. So I consider that a win and a high for the month. Another high for the month was I went to a concert. I went to a Blake Shelton concert. St. Jude Hospital invited me and it was such a fun time. I went to one of my friends and it was just a really fun night. The opening acts were great. He was great. Every time I put makeup on my neck, I'm like, Ugh. like I feel like I'm like sounding a little funny, but that was such a really fun night. If you guys are curious about any of the stuff that I do on the weekend, and I'm not vlogging in my weekly vlog, check out my TikTok. I do little weekend vlogs, like little mini vlogs. So if you guys ever want to see that kind of stuff, like the bar crawl and the concert and all of that and my birthday and all that stuff was on TikTok. So go check that out. You guys are about to see this blush in action. The last high that I had for the month was just the beautiful weather, Arizona. Like this is the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful time of the year. I feel like it's honestly warmer now than it normally is. I'm really trying to take advantage of the nice weather while I can because I know it's going to get too hot to do anything. So I've just been going on as many walks outside as I possibly can, trying to spend as much of my day outside laying by the pool when I have a free moment, trying to soak in the sun, also trying to match with like too much blush so it would kind of match my body a little bit that's my goal i don't know if that's gonna turn out well is it gonna look clowny or is it gonna look like i match my body we're gonna add a little bit of like the cream part to it and i just tap it kind of like right here a little bit and it just it's so cute it looks a little crazy i'm looking at the viewfinder it looks a little crazy it's okay you know, we all have our moments. Let's go on to some lows. So first of all, I lost my wallet and my car keys. I actually ended up getting my wallet back. That was after I had canceled all my cards. So there was like a week when I had no access to money. <laughs> Someone did also steal the cash in my wallet and my gift cards, but I did get the wallet itself back. So I didn't have to get a new Costco card or anything like that, which is really nice. I also lost my car keys. I, f I found my car keys. It was just kind of like a traumatic birthday weekend. If I'm going to be honest, ever since I turned 24, my life has gone downhill. And I I mean that in the most like serious way possible. I know that sounds like a joke, but I'm not kidding. I've just had some really bad luck since turning 24 and I don't think it has anything to do with me turning 24. I just think it's unfortunate timing. In the month of March, I also got some terrible, 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 terrible news that I haven't told you guys about yet. I don't want to spoil it yet because I'm going to talk about it in one of my weekly vlogs. So just wait for that vlog to come out. But I got some really bad news that was very, very unexpected and is going to change the way Way negatively that I live my life for a while for who knows how long I cannot find my eyebrow product where could it have gone this isn't the one I wanted to use but I guess this is what we're gonna use I am healthy. Don't worry about this. This is not a health scare or anything like that. So don't be concerned about me in that sense. I got two pieces of really bad news that really sucked in the matter of like 20 minutes. Like two of the worst things aside from health related things. I do want to like take a moment and like appreciate the fact that I'm healthy that like it could be so much worse. At this phase of my life, I got two pieces of news that were really horrible within 20 minutes of each other. And you guys will see that vlog when it comes. It's a little bit of an emotional one, but that's, it is what it is. I'm a Pisces. I'm an emotional person and I don't want to spoil it for you guys. But if I'm going to be honest, I'm still having a really hard time adjusting to everything that's going to be going on. It will be a process working through it all. I also want to recognize without even like saying what this news is, because I will tell you guys, it's just I want it to be like in the vlog. There could be so many worse things happening and I do feel like I'm trying to put that into perspective. Although what happened was not great news. It could be worse, but I also don't want to disregard my feelings and invalidate them. So I thought we'd talk about the things that I'm looking forward to in April. Taylor Swift is coming out with an album. <laughs> the Tortured Poets Department. I literally cannot wait. I love this woman and I love that she just like keeps popping out albums left and right. Thank you so much, Taylor. This is exactly what I needed. Honestly, that serotonin boost. It's really what I needed. Aside from that, there really isn't anything else that I'm looking forward to in April. I know that sounds absolutely horrible, but I do expect April to be a month with a lot of anxiety because of my bad news and just adjusting to the change of it all. I'm not trying to like like edge you guys <laughs> essentially like not saying what it is but i 
I do expect the coming months to just kind of be a little bit rougher for me, but I do think that that's a big part of life. Life throws things unexpectedly your way and life is really just about how you manage it. There's really little in life that you can control, but you can control how you handle things. And that's something that I think I'm really trying to focus on right now. And we're done with my makeup and we're done talking about our highs, our lows, and things that we're looking forward to. And I would love to hear your guys' highs, lows, and things that you're looking forward to as well. That is honestly the end of this video. Is my, is this gonna get stuck? Uh, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. My hair has been falling out, actually, guys. That's, like, kind of scary. My hair has been falling out. I think it's the stress. <laughs> Aside from that, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video. I wanted to say thank you by doing a little giveaway. If you guys want to enter, all the rules will be in the description. Make sure to check that out before entering. Let me show you guys what's in your prize. Everything you'll be winning is in here. Let's see what we got for you. This is the Beauty Sat Universal C Skin Refiner for all skin types. 20% vitamin C, brightens, retexturizes, firms. We also have the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist with rose water and green tea. This is from L'Occitane. I love L'Occitane. I was going to say this smells so good. Package and it's definitely because of this. This is their delicious soap. It's cleansing and exfoliating. This is from Jones Road. It's the Miracle Balm in Flush. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, a 24-hour daily lightweight hydrating formula with squalene and glacial glide protein, glycoprotein. I don't know what any of that means, but it does sound really cool, and I hear about squalene all the time on TikTok. This is the Grande Mascara Waterproof Conditioning. We got this little hard candy lip oil. It's kind of like this like pinky red color. And then we got this Lancome. I think this is a liquid eyeshadow in C. We are keep going. There's still like plenty more in here. Oh, I got this little Neutrogena, this little like roller eyeball thing, you know, for like depuffing your eyes. This is another beauty set product. It's a universal pro bio moisture boost cream. And then we got the Benefit Fan Fest mascara. This is the Flower Beauty Africo Luminous Serum. This looks so, so pretty. And then we have another mascara from Grande. This is the Fanning and Curling Mascara. Last two things in here, Beauty Sat Universal Microbo Barrier Balancing Cleanser. There's lots of cleansers and skincare products for you to try. Hopefully you find one that you really like. And then this is from Laura Mercier. This is a blush in the shade Watermelon, which is actually one of my favorite shades. So this is everything that you guys can win for this giveaway. Like I said, if you guys want to see how to enter, check out the description and that will give you all the information. Thank you guys so much for watching the end of this video, supporting me. I love you guys so much and I hope that you guys have a great day. Bye! Mwah.